Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to defragment your Windows 10 hard drive. This is very similar to previous versions of Windows. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to our start button and then type in, start typing in defragment. And before I even finish typing it in all the way, we see there is an option that says defragment and optimize drives. We want to left click on that. So now we see an optimized drive window pop up on our screen. We can see our drives that are on the system. We only have one main hard drive. We only have one partition on the computer. So it's just showing up as a C drive. It's a hard disk drive, so we know it's the right one. We can see the current status, and it will tell us how what the percentage is that's fragmented. You can select a drive and then left click on Analyze to see how fragmented the drive is or you could just left click on optimize and it will begin the process of analyzing and defragmenting your hard drive. So this process can take a little bit of time depending upon how large your hard drive is and how many files and folders and pictures and videos are on your computer. So this is a relatively small hard drive. It's only about 15, I think it's only about 15 gigabytes, so not too big, so it shouldn't take very long for this to scan it will run multiple passes through and there really is not anything already installed in this computer so that explains why it's moving very quick but definitely a lot at least a half hour if not more to this process depending on how much you have on your computer again so since this is almost done I'm just going to just wait here until it is finished Okay, so we can see our defragmentation of our C drive has finished and 0% fragmented. And you can also change how frequently you schedule your optimizations by going under change settings down here. And you can set how often you want Windows defrag to run a scan, or you can just disable it altogether by deselecting that option and clicking OK. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.